All right, joining me now here on the Matthew Filipovich Show is my good friend, Nagin Farsad. Nagin is a writer, comedian, an actress, and a filmmaker whose work has been seen on MTV, Comedy Central, PBS, and more, all of which you can find at naginfarsad.com. You can follow her on Twitter at Nagin Farsad. Nagin, thank you so much for being on the show again. Thank you for having me. All right, so Nagin, after a long, long time coming, your brand new documentary that you made with Dean Obladala, The Muslims Are Coming, is finally <laughs> out. You've had screenings. It's been going great. Um, so let's just start out. Um, you were on the show when you were making it to, to discuss it, but if people haven't heard, I mean, obviously you were in the process of making it at the time. Tell us all about the film. Yeah. Um, so basically what we did was like we rounded up a bunch of Muslim Americans American comedians, uh, you know, in a nonviolent way. And we <laughs> took them on tour um, to places like Alabama and Mississippi and um, Tennessee and Georgia and Arizona, you know, to be places where they just love Muslims. Um, and <laughs> we, we did shows and we did a stand up comedy tour called The Muslims Are Coming. Um, and uh, it's funny because we, you know, we have expected people to show up being like, oh, is this a, a lecture tour on the coming Muslim apocalypse? Because we're taking. <laughs> Notes, and we've mm-hmm, got right. our rifles in the van. Um, but uh, but we we did shows and we 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 cut, uh, we filmed all the shows and we did all these street actions like we would set up an Ask a Muslim booth in the middle of a town square or we would um, you know go have a bowling with Muslims event you know as <laughs> one does um, and right. then we we got like some kind of ridiculous people to to do to just wax hilarious on. Uh, Islamophobia and Muslims in general, people like The Daily Show's John Stewart, uh, Rachel Maddow, uh, Louis Black, Janine Garofalo, David Cross, Russell Simmons, Cenk Uger. Um, so basically, um, it's it's kind of a ridiculous selection of people is what I'm trying to say. And uh, and yeah, and the movie is finally um, available. It's out. It's 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 a, it's being seen by the public, and and it's very exciting. Excellent. So you've already had some screenings. I know you're in Seattle and California. How is the, how's the audiences? I mean, I, I know it's like, you know, as you know, as a stand-up, you get immediate reaction from your jokes, like either people like it or they don't like it or whatever. But, you know, when you're making videos or a film, it's it's obviously you're in kind of in your own little world, right? You know, where you don't know, like you think you something is going to, re- people are going to respond one way. It's got to be really exciting to actually finally get this in front of an audience and actually get to hear them responding. How has the response been to the film so far? I know, and it is really funny because with stand-up, you, you go out and you do a j- material and you're like, oh, that didn't work work that works this other thing didn't <laughs> right. work oh this makes me want to kill myself and then you you, you know what I mean you 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 uh, shape it and you form it and you keep bringing it out um, and you get to you know by the end of t- a two week period you'll have like a three minute bit and you're you're p- pleased with it or something um, depending mm-hmm. on how <laughs> how crappy the bit was at the beginning but uh <laughs> but like with with filmmaking you, everything is uh, is being worked on on such an article of faith you know that's why the d- directors have this kind of of like, um, you know, we treat good directors, we, we treat them well because it's like they can figure out what an audience will anticipate, what an audience will enjoy. And it's really, really hard. Um, and I am happy to say that the reaction has been, I mean, I am, j- I'll just, I don't even watch the movie. I just listen for the laughs. Like, am I getting the right laughs per minute ratio? And, uh, and so far, I mean, the audiences have done their job. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, audiences. Well, Good well job, done. Audience, you guys are doing really well. And, uh, no, they've been laughing at all the right lines. Like it's it, the you know there's the, the, we've there's an average now now that we've screened we we had a few festival screenings and then um, and now we've had a few university screenings or whatever. But in terms of like commercial audiences, now we've shown it. Um, a bunch of different times in Chicago and Seattle and Los Angeles where the film is open. It's opening in New York this week and Boston next week. Um, and so the audiences have definitely formulated like an average response, which is laughing at all the right lines. And I'm really like kind of shocked and happy and, you know, and it takes movies take a long time. Cause you also like you do a cut and you get responses and you kind of are able to like rejigger a little bit based on, um, 
responses from like you know a focus group type situation but you know it is so much of it is done in a solitary lonely fashion for like <laughs> and in this case it took like a year and like nine months yeah well so like you said um you were in chicago seattle and a bunch of festivals i know you're down in austin um just real quick so people know uh the screening is the end of this week is in new york city uh so people should check it out there also the following week you were here where i live in boston massachusetts you're playing the somerville theater so all the people in boston should go check that out all the people listening in new york city can can check that out you can find out all the screenings real quick at the muslims are coming.com we'll get to back to that again um but also uh right before we went on the air i was really excited to hear this is um if you don't live in a town that has a screening uh, which again i I think the the best way to see a movie is always like you know with other people and stuff and actually having it but you know it's this isn't uh this isn't transformers it's not going to be at every single solitary multiplex yeah friggin michael bay but you (laughs) but actually it is going to be available to everyone else on the 24th tell us all about that so everybody can actually check out this movie you're right this isn't transformers but we threw in some robots in the movie just for good measure just to make sure (laughs) it it appealed to everybody so there are some muslim robots in the movie um but but yeah it isn't um you know it's not it's only opening in a handful of cities around the country and you hopefully live in one of those cities if you're listening to this podcast. If you don't, um, you can totally see it on iTunes mm-hmm. uh, starting September 14th. I'm sorry, September 24th. Um, it'll be available on iTunes, on cable on demand, on Amazon Play or whatever it's called, the Google Play, the Amazon downloads. Uh, <laughs> all of the things were the thing. And then the on demand channels and uh, all of those things, where, uh, which are also very popular places to see movies, it will be available. Uh, And not only just in the United States, but in Canada, maybe you've heard of that country, and in like randomly 24 other countries uh, that that take English-speaking content. So just, uh, you know, tell your your cousins in Australia. (laughs) I will will do that. I don't have any cousins in Australia, (laughs) but if I did... I would tell them. 